Yo, what is up guys? Co Reefing here. Thought I'd update you guys on some of the coral that I've gotten recently. And also that really cool light that my sister got me. Cool. You can still kind of see it in the video, so I just won't have it on for now. Like I was saying, I do want to update you guys on some of the corals that I've gotten. Um, there's actually quite a few. First, I'll tell you guys where I got them from. So one of the local shops here in Denver actually has this like online auction uh, for corals where they'll just go from one coral to the next. You get to bid through this app if you win the bid, you win the coral. I really like doing it because we get some pretty cool pieces for for pretty pretty dang cheap. I don't think I paid more than 20 bucks for a single frag that I have. And I think I've gotten the majority of the frags, the small ones at least, that I have in this tank from them. Or through the auction, sorry. Uh, one really cool thing I wanted to show you guys is... This clownfish up here is, or should I say the anemone is hosting this clown. They just recently started doing that, which is pretty cool. A bunch of them hang out in these four anemones that are here in the center. But of course, when I record, they don't want to do it, right? How dare Getting off from this right side. Let's zoom in here. On this bottom right corner, I forgot what this coral is called, but it's pretty cool. It's actually just coming out right now. It was a little bit hidden earlier. Uh, the one behind that, the green one, I think it's a season's greeting, little like Monty, and you can't really see it. Yeah, I think that's a uh, Christmas Favia in the back, right? And then this is another sort of Favia not sure the name like i said a lot of these range from like 10 to maybe 20 bucks at the most and that's with me picking up because they do offer shipping but i'm like 30 minutes away so i just drive there and pick them up amen why not why not right i did get this huge monty i think i want to think i paid like 15 bucks for this it's probably like three inches long and like two inches wide it's pretty cool Moving up a little bit, I did get a Forest Fire Digi that's doing pretty good. And then this other small acro here, so I think it's a Blue Tenuous. That's not doing so hot. I think it's kind of receding from the bottom there, but I don't know. Hopefully it gets better. Um, I have been dosing Alkalinity and I will test that here soon and see what that's at. I still have not received the Kalkwasser, so I have not started that yet, but I think sticks and things that are a little bit more sensitive to alkalinity and calcium and pH swings will grow a little bit better once I do start dosing calc. Hopefully that, that gets a little bit better. I do have a couple other Montes here, just plating stuff. I do want to start dosing, like I said, calc wasser, but I don't want to start dosing it and just oversaturate the water with calc wasser to the point where it won't benefit my tank anymore. I'm trying to add things to the tank that will help me consume a lot of that alk and calcium so that it just consumes it. So just moving on with these corals, this one on the left here seems it's like a, um, I am totally blanking out. The, oh, it's a blast out. Sorry. Blanking out names here, guys. And my anemones are bubbling up quite a bit. That one looks weird. I don't know why he's like that. He doesn't even get that much flow. I think he should just, he should be looking like these guys back here where he just bubbles up, but I don't know. He's trying, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, guys. And my mushroom garden is growing. I did get this Sunkiss bounce and it's obviously bouncing. Um, this little mushroom, I forgot the name. I got it from a local reefer here in the Denver area. 
there's all kinds of colors on this guy. Let me see if when I zoom in, it looks a little bit better. You guys can see the detail on that guy. Let's check out the bubbles on this guy. Yep. That is a fox coral. Seems to be getting a little bit of um, water pressure from this right side, so I might move it a little bit. There's a snail blocking me from my cool watermelon mushroom that I got. This hammer that doesn't seem to want to come out at all. And I feel like it's bleached, but I'm not quite sure. It hasn't died, so that's a good thing. I might try moving that again to see if I can save its life. Um, I might try moving it back here to where it's like low light and hopefully not a lot of uh, water flow. But moving on to this left side here of my mushroom rock. These two like translucent ones in the center, I don't know their names. I think they're like golden shrooms or something. And then this guy on the right and the left, as you can see it here, are the same. And I totally f am spacing out their name, but they seem pretty cool. Um, on this one on the right, not sure if you can see, but yep, maybe there. There's a small little baby on the right side there because the majority of the other ones on this left side. So you could maybe see in the center there, there's a uh, baby on the side. So that's cool. That watermelon one also has a baby. Let's see if I can capture it with the, no, maybe. Yeah, right there in the center. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit, but you guys will be able to see them a lot better once they obviously grow out. Some sort of red disco shroom. It looks pretty cool. can't keep my camera still but yeah he's all red and has little blue dots on him and one of those one of the translucent shrooms the one right here on the left he's kind of like splitting so that's why he's so long um, see if I can get a better view of him maybe right there yeah you guys can see he's splitting right at the mouth all by himself yeah guys these are the corals that I currently have in the tank. Oh, check it out, they're over there taking a shower or doing whatever they do on the inside of the anemones, you know? I figured it, would just, it was just a matter of time before they found an anemone in here. In the next couple of weeks, I know I keep saying this, but for real, I am gonna get 10 more anemones, maybe 12. I think one of my friends is gonna hook me up for a decent price on 12 of them. There will be a lot more movement in the tank and hopefully for the good. Hopefully they attach to the rocks and they don't fly into my power heads like that one anemone when I first started up the tank did. I still have 10 uh, clownfish, so that's always a good thing. They only all come out whenever I am feeding, whenever I'm just hanging out by the tank. Some of them go and hide and go back to their safe place. I do have some blue mushrooms on that rock. Let's see if it clears up a bit. They look like a different color right now, but then there's a fire shroom on that rock as well, where you can see a little bit of yellow. Hopefully that gets more color later on. Uh, once I get that Kalkwasser, I'll make another video so that you guys can see how I mix it and how I'm dosing it. I still only am dosing RO water with that dosing pump that I have connected to my five gallon 
RO container, my calc washer container that soon to be. As soon as that gets in, I will make a video on how I mix that and let you guys know how much I'm gonna start off dosing from the sounds of it or from what I've seen online other youtubers do is they start off with the half dosage with the calc washer from BRS it usually calls for two scoops for every gallon so I might start off with one scoop for every gallon and just kind of see what that does I do want to also get my pH monitor via the Apex Junior but obviously I can't do everything at once like other people um, so I think I'm gonna prioritize the anemones first and then I will then get the Apex Junior let me know if you guys have any questions what do you guys think of the new corals if you guys could please like comment and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the month and I think I'm like at 94 so I only need a couple more of you guys I'd greatly appreciate it and let me know if you guys want to see anything in specific I can always go into further detail whether it's on a specific coral or any specific equipment that I'm using in the tank All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Co-reefing, out.